So this is a machine doing the calibration for the first print. Uh, and that print is going to be an ATAT keyring. So there you can see, look, it's uh, it's purged any waste that was in the lines. Um, and now, hopefully, it's printing the outline. So this takes, um, I believe this is 35 minutes to print this key ring. Print bed is heated, 215 degrees. Forty-nine, forty-nine minutes it'll take to print this keyring. Uh, it's probably because I didn't set uh, the print quality. Oh yeah, uh, we're using PLA. As you can see on the spool there, it's uh, neutral, neutral color. Okay, we'll leave it there and we'll see what it does. Right folks, welcome back. Well, I didn't want to bore you for 40 minutes. Um, so we are literally one minute away from finishing the print. The first ever print for me on this 3D printer. Um, it's an ATAT key ring. So yeah, the uh, we're at 98% now. We're just literally finishing off. I'll tell you... Uh, you know, some people might think this is mundane, but, you know, the attention to detail and, you know, even with the infill, saving, um, you know, building them, building them contours, infilling to save on filament, uh, amazing technology, stounds me. Right, we're at 99%, we should be finishing off now. The attack keyring. 99%. This is just one of many, 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 many Star Wars projects that I am going to be downloading. Oh, we're done, we're done. Oh, we're done. Well, look at that. There you go. Nice little keyring. Right then, well, we'll, uh, we'll stop the machine, we'll let it cool down, and um, we'll take this thing off the pad. Well, would you look at that? Look at the detail on that. Amazing. Right, well, catch you on the next one, folks.